Hello and welcome to the Do Jenkins Docs Office Hours. This is the European uh, US edition here on October 6th at 2 p.m. Uh, for me, EST. And uh, today on our agenda, we have some action items regarding blog posts and other items that have come up lately for Jenkins. Uh, we just had an LTS release yesterday, uh, successfully completed. So uh, change log and upgrade guide is available. Uh, just an update about DevOps World 2022 and its status. Uh, Hacktoberfest is uh, off to an amazing start. We've got tons of contributions coming in from a various user groups uh, all over the world. So uh, we'll be able to discuss that further and share more about that. Uh, and then last on my list today uh, is just the upcoming weekly release 2373, uh, which will happen again uh, on Tuesday, uh, pending nothing, pending nothing, no other changes or anything uh, releases before that. So. Uh, yeah, Mark, is there anything else you'd like to add to the agenda today, or does that cover everything for you? That that covers it. Let's take those topics. Okay. Uh, so as far as the action items go, uh, Mark's still uh, looking to archive the docs mailing list, but it's going to take some time. You're going to be out of office for a couple of weeks coming up, so we'll look to it. We'll look for it later. Yeah, no November is the best I can hope for on that one. Okay, no worries. Uh, yep, uh, and a couple of weeks ago, uh, we published a blog post announcing our digital part the ocean partnership. Uh, they're the main organizer and sponsor of Hacktoberfest, so uh, just a real fun uh, collaboration that we get to continue and, and push forward with and dedicate resources. Uh, big thanks to DigitalOcean for providing the sponsorship. Uh, we appreciate everything. Uh, we also in, uh, published the Adopt and Improve a Plugin tutorial, which has been a long time coming based off last year's DevOps world, uh, and now has both a blog post and the tutorial itself. So lots of great information on how to uh, adopt and upgrade plugins and is a uh, great newbie, new uh, user friendly, really thorough and uh, provided you take, this, take the time to follow the steps, it works really well. Uh, we also had another blog post recently published just this week about scaling out iOS builds on, a on AWS or Amazon Web Service. Um, that was recently published and uh, just is a great bit of information uh, for those uh, iOS uh, build. So, uh, yeah. And then uh, 2.361.2, again, that was our LTS release yesterday. Uh, went out and completed successfully, so we're really happy about that. Uh, the change log and upgrade guide have been published, so they're available on the Jenkins.io website. Uh, and uh, that also goes for the weekly of 2.372. That's also in the uh, weekly release line change log. So everything's ready to go, everything's available, and things are working well. It's great. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Mark. On that one, we've got a live stream today with Darren Pope and me. I should put that in the in the in the links. I'll 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 include the hyperlink because it starts in about two hours. Fantastic. Okay, that's awesome. And the live streams are always a great watch. I love catching up afterwards. Uh, quick note on DevOps World 2022. Unfortunately, it did have to be postponed due to Hurricane Ian uh, landing in Florida last week. Uh, it has been postponed. It will be happening online in the future, and it just needs to be planned, rescheduled, promoted, and uh, basically we're going to still have things like the Contributor Summit, uh, but it will be in a different format. So uh, no one's going to miss out on any of the information we were hoping to share. It's just going to be delivered a little bit differently. Um, but uh, the the nice thing is the Contributor Summit will be open to anyone who wants to join, which is really exciting. Um, now it's not just a matter of who's going to be at the conference. So uh, that does mean that it does have to be conducted a little differently. So that, again, will be planned and rescheduled. And we'll uh, be sure to update everyone when that becomes available. Uh, now, the bulk of Hacktoberfest has been happening in the last few days. It's started over the weekend. Uh, but uh, for some folks, it wouldn't have started till Monday. Uh, but we've been getting uh, over contributions from over uh, you know, a dozen people right now already, which is huge. And uh, I've been able to review some of the pull requests as well as Mark, and they are wonderful. People are doing great work and uh, putting a lot of effort into 
share uh, further information, further documentation efforts in Jenkins. Um, again, appreciate everyone's uh, work here and just uh, wanted to thank the users that uh, I know for a fact have submitted pull requests that we've been able to merge uh, listed here. There are others for sure, uh, and I don't want to miss anyone, but uh, big thanks to everyone that's helping and contributing to our Hacktoberfest. Um, Jean-Marc had written a blog post for uh, Preptember, so it's a few weeks old now, uh, but everything still applies since it is for Hacktoberfest. So if you have any questions, uh, there's a great link there with some wonderful information from Jean-Marc. And then we also have the live stream link available. Uh, this is the October 2022 kickoff live stream that uh, John Mark and I think Darren hosted on Tuesday and is a great introduction to Hacktoberfest, what the idea is behind it, and a lot of the uh, details, contents, et cetera, that uh, are, are uh, contained at, that are about Hacktoberfest. Um, these live streams are going to happen weekly, so uh, they're going to be there. They're going to be posted on YouTube after the fact, so this information will be available whether you can make it live or not. Um, we also, uh, I'm going to change past the open forum part and just mention the chat page. Um, just in case anyone's not aware, we have a chat page on the Jenkins.io website, and it contains all of the methods of communication for various Jenkins channels. So uh, just on Gitter, we have Jenkins new contr newcomer contributions, which is a great place to ask questions. Uh, if you're just getting started with Jenkins, we also have a Hacktoberfest channel. So there are multiple places to ask questions and get, get assistance. Uh, we have the uh, internet relay chat, which can be used through uh, various clients. And uh, we have uh, matrix channels as well that uh, are available. And the nice thing is uh, we've actually recently been able to connect the release channel and the Jenkins infra channel. Uh, so these two now, uh, regardless of where you might be chatting or keeping up with them, they're connected. So Gitter talks to IRC, talks to Matrix, et cetera, and back and forth. Uh, this means that you can stay up to date with Jenkins, get all the latest information on releases and the infrastructure uh, as often as you want and without having to worry about you're not in the right place. Uh, every place is the right place now. So it's gonna, it's, uh, it, we're gonna continue merging these channels and connect or not merging, but connecting these channels as well. So as we go forward, there will be even more uh, cross communication between the IRC, between Gitter, uh, between Matrix so that uh, everything can be kept up and uh, without any real lag or downtime between messages, which is really exciting. Um, since these kind of things are sometimes urgent. So uh, great work by Gavin Mogan for uh, taking care of that and getting those channels connected. Really appreciate the work he's doing there, uh, as well as things that are happening uh, for the governance board and other areas of Jenkins in general. Um, as an aside, uh, I'll, I'll hold off on that one. Uh, uh, I was going to have an open forum so that if any uh, Hacktoberfest participants were joining us today in our meeting, could share progress, ask questions, co thoughts, comments, concerns, etc. Uh, it doesn't seem like we have anyone in here right now, so we'll, we'll uh, hold off on that for the time being. If anyone joins in the next couple minutes, we can always check in with them. Uh, but outside of that, Mark, uh, it seems like we've navigated through everything for the most part. Is there anything I might have missed or anything else you'd like to add here? No, I think I think we've covered the topics. We'll do a, as a forewarning, I will be there won't be Asia office hours next week, the week after or the week after that. So those three office hours will be canceled. They've been removed from the Jenkins the Jenkins calendar. We will continue to do European office hours those times and Kevin will host those. So that's that's great. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, of course. Really looking forward to it. And uh, since Mark will be away, uh, I am here for any Hacktoberfest questions, documentation questions, uh, Jenkins questions that I can try to answer. Uh, anything at all, I'm here to help. And if not, uh, if I don't know the answer, I will get you to the person who does, or at least the right direction. Um, so, yeah, uh, 
by all means, uh, this is going to be really exciting for the next few weeks. Hectoberfest is off to a great, 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 great start, and uh, it's only going to get go be get better from here. So, uh, really looking forward to all the participants and uh, getting to connect with everyone that I possibly can. Uh, it's really exciting to just strengthen and uh, connect and build the community. Um, great. Okay. Well, then, if that's the if that covers everything, then I think we can stop the recording. Mark. The recording will be available in the next 24 to 48 hours. It will be posted uh, on the community.jenkins.io site, uh, so everything can be followed up there.